Leviathan here, these are the four things that I hate about a McLaren 650S because I could only think of four. Number one, maintenance. McLaren has really branded itself as a true driver's car, where they encourage their customers to really experience and enjoy the car, rather than just leaving it parked in their garage like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. And that being said, what McLaren does not offer is a seven-year complimentary maintenance, which would cover everything from your parts to your labor. And that's something Ferrari offers. If McLaren really wants to sell itself as a true driver's car, then I feel the company should just be able to back up their values. Number two, the loudness, and it has nothing to do with the exhaust note. I actually think the exhaust note on the McLaren is very fitting to the character and personality of the car, but the carbon ceramic brakes. So I've been driving this car quite a lot and I've noticed that after a while the brakes get really, really squeaky. So much so that it's actually louder than the car itself. So when I come to a stoplight, people turn because they hear the brakes squeaking and nothing else. And if being a car that you can actually drive and enjoy on a daily basis to be one of your selling features, then having brakes like that is totally unacceptable. And McLaren should be more proactive solving that issue for their customers. Number three, the paddles. Look, I understand that we're moving away from the generation of the three pedal manually transmission car but I feel that the paddle should be engineered to be more mechanical and more engaging for the driver. This is the same with all the modern generation supercars. You don't get that responsiveness or feedback each time you change gears. And I think that changing gears should always give you that sense of an occasion or experience. And it feels too much like a video game. And finally, number four, just some general annoyances I've started to observe. For example, some of the rubber components on the exterior have started to see a lot of wear and tear and they just appear a bit faded and I think it's too soon in the life cycle of the car to actually start to notice things like that. And on the inside you don't have a lot of storage space which isn't a big deal. So you don't get a glove box and you get this little cubby hole in the center console which is a bit hard to access. And the weight sensors on the passenger side is a bit too sensitive because each time I leave a phone or a wallet I get the passenger not belted warning which isn't an issue, but I can't actually dismiss that warning, which makes it impossible for me to access the lift system of the car. It's just minor things like that, which I think McLaren could really enhance. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Those are the four things that I hate about a McLaren 650S. And there's only four because I couldn't think of anything more. So thanks for watching guys, until next time.